Hello, it's Phil Thatch and I'm here at the Chattanooga Market, also known as the First Horizon Pavilion with Casey and Heather and it's Father's Day and uh, they always have a market here on the weekend and I'm going to walk around. Uh, I've got, what did I bring? I brought uh, the 24 to 70 F2.8 and the 70 to 200 F2.8. So. We got two thirds of the Holy Trinity and I may do some street photography around here and sip on some beer and have some food truck food. Maybe there's some music playing. We're gonna check it out. I shot for a while with the 70 to 200 and while it was really great and worked really well, I felt like it kind of was almost too intimate of a photograph and didn't have enough background and what's going on in the shot. So eventually, I switched over to the 24 to 70, but let's look at the 70 to 200 shots first. Here are the photos that I made with the 70 to 200. Everything's at f2.8 in this video, and you can see the settings up here in the top left, 119 millimeters, 1 3 20th of a second, and ISO 500. I was actually shooting at a little bit too slow of a shutter speed, I thought, and I had some motion blur in some of the pictures, but not too bad. I like the uh, the way the hair matches the shirt in this shot. This lady had really beautiful eyes. Uh, the booth she was in was towards the edge of the market there and she had a big yellow awning so it kind of messed up my white balance a little bit. But uh, I like that shot. This young man was uh, bored and just laying around and lounging around and I pointed the camera over there and this lady smiled at me with her tiara and I really liked the way this shot came out. Here is uh, one of the ladies working one of the booths, and you can see if you look in her uh, rather cool sunglasses, you can see her customer reflected in her sunglasses. There was face painting going on there at the market, and this lady painted many, many faces. I have a few more face painted children to show you later in the video. Uh, it was Father's Day, lots of uh, dads and youngsters wandering around. This kid had a really great vantage point to see the market and this one had a pretty nice vantage point as well up there on his dad's shoulders. Here's this lady walking through drinking a strawberry beverage. Look at the out of focus quality from the 70 to 200 f 2.8 at 2.8 and 135 millimeters. And there was a live band playing. This is Rick Rushing and the Blues Strangers. Rick is this gentleman here. There's the saxophone player at a 200 millimeter shot. And there is Rick with one of the two Stratocasters he was playing. The other one is my favorite. I'll tell you why in a minute. Notice the way the headstock looks on this one. There's the drummer. He did a nice job. And when you are, uh, there's not enough tables for everyone to eat at who's getting food from the food truck. So sometimes you just have to kind of sit on the ground by a forklift and eat and watch the band. And there is Casey. I held my, she was looking at me and I was pointing the camera at her and I held my left hand up in the air and said, look at this. And when she did, I snapped this shot at 70 millimeters F 2.8. Here's another person who is making do where she could because all the tables were full. So the 24 to 70 was way more intimate and I was able to kind of walk around at either 35 or 24 millimeters and just kind of point the camera in the general direction of my subject and kind of uh, press the face detect. Sometimes it would catch my subject and sometimes it wouldn't. And when it did, it was usually pretty cool. Okay, now using the 24 to 70, I've sped my shutter speed up a little bit, 1 500th. Now, instead of 1 3 20th, which I wish I had done all of these photos at 1 3 20th, but you can see I'm using the 24 to 70 at 50 millimeters. This is the other guitarist. And his, this is Rick Rushing with the Stratocaster that I liked better. You can see it has the upside down headstock, which is a kind of a custom look on this genuine Fender Stratocaster. Here are some people that were working at the Kettle Corn Man booth, uh, bagging up some Kettle Corn and it sold well. I saw this stuff all over the place there. I'm um, still cool. I totally agree, sir. I was really close for this shot, 35 millimeters, and I think I just shot from the hip and let face detect do the best it could. Plus, I was moving and the gentleman was moving, so there's a little motion blur, but not too bad. Here is a photograph I like to call Capitalism in Action. This 
lady was buying some jewelry from this jewelry shop there at the market. And here's uh, another person. Uh, this was a shot from the hip also, 24 millimeters now. I'm, I'm shooting much wider than I normally do in street photography. I think I wanted the camera to focus on her, but the camera grabbed his face and focus, and uh, I think that still turned out pretty good. These two cool dudes, 24 millimeter from the hip shot, walking through the food court, or not the food court, the Chattanooga market with their beers. Pretty cool shot. Here's another, uh, now this is a 50 millimeter shot. I believe I actually put the camera to my face for this shot of these folks uh, at this booth looking at these foods that they were selling, but this lady has already bought some kettle corn. This is the gentleman that was operating that booth. I think there was two people operating that booth, but I like this shot of him discussing his products with some customers. We ran into David Sailors and his family and got to hang out with them for a little while on Father's Day. Sierra was shooting with David's X-T3 and the 18 millimeter to, uh, what is it, 55 kit lens. And David was shooting with his cool Leica and a vintage 28 millimeter lens. I think he was doing zone focus at F8. And I ran into David Sailors. There's David Sailors with his Leica, and I think that's a vintage 28 millimeter lens of some sort. Pretty cool to see him and Sierra and Teresa there at the market. And there is sweet Miss Heather. Look at her beautiful eyes. I uh, just pointed the camera at her and she looked at me and was cute and that was that. Here's a lady who was walking by behind us. I think you can see David over here on the left side of the shot, a 27 millimeter shot. And here is a couple rolling through the market with a beer and their stroller. A lot of folks had beers. There's uh, These folks over here had beers. A lot of people had beers at the market that day. Not everybody, but quite a few. The beer sales did well, I'm sure. And speaking of beer sales, this is the gentleman who sold me my beer, and I asked him if he would uh, hold the beer out while I took his picture, and I thought it was cool that he was in focus, and the beer's out of focus in the foreground, and the wall is out of focus in the background on this 36 millimeter shot. Here's a couple wandering through. They have acquired some lunch from a food truck and some beers. This gentleman was selling soap that was made from whiskey, beer, and or wine, which I thought was an interesting booth. Uh, pretty cool. Um, Cameron did a great job grabbing his eye for this shot at 24 millimeters. This is a from the hip shot of this family. Uh, there's a little bit of motion blur in it, even at one five hundredth. But I just love this shot. Um, the whole family is kind of checking out the scene, and they have no idea that I'm taking their picture, even though I'm right in front of them. Here's this group of ladies who were wandering around the market and just having themselves a good old time. Another twenty-four millimeter shot. I like how. I think. The focus probably landed on this one, but these two are pretty well in focus as well. So that, that one came out really nice. This shot, I wanted the camera to grab this young lady right here, but it grabbed the necklaces and I still like the way the photo came out. So that turned out fine. Here's some folks doing some shopping. I think these are dog treats that they're shopping for there. Pretty neat shot, 52 millimeters for this one. And this lady uh, is the one I photographed earlier with the great eyes, and I decided to black and white this one. She, uh, most people didn't pay attention to me at all with the camera, but she noticed me coming and looked over and smiled, so I thought that was pretty cool as she was demonstrating her beeswax food wraps to this customer here. And here's the guy who was selling chocolate. I thought this picture of him came out really nice as he's listening intently to what these young ladies are wanting to find in his booth. Here's a fellow making kettle corn at 50 millimeters. You can see uh, it's a hazy looking picture but that's all the smoke from the kettle corn machine. And this young lady gave me a nice smile when I went to take her picture and you can see the youngster has uh, nicely received some face painting. 24 millimeter shot and this young lady has had some face painting as well and look I think they made her into a unicorn 
How cool is that? Another 24 millimeter from the hip shot. These young ladies were shopping for jewelry, 42 millimeter shot. I love this shot. This is uh, a 24 millimeter shot as well. You can see kind of a large area. The, the stage was over to the right of this and this is where people were kind of sitting around and doing their best to find some place to eat. And nobody's really in focus and nobody's looking at me except the baby was looking at me. And I guess that's a toddler and the toddler was in focus. So I just think that shot came out really, really cool. Hope you like it as well. Uh, this gentleman was uh, doing a good job of talking to these ladies about what he was selling at his booth. It's another 24 millimeter shot. And I call this shot Blue Thingy and Boca at the Chattanooga Market. I'm not sure what this thing is, but it was really pretty. And you can see how the market, uh, the open air windows in the top of the market and all the way at the back of the market. It's a really, really big building. I like this way this picture came out quite a bit. This gentleman uh, was selling herbs, I believe, and uh, he was just really intently focused on putting together this bag of herbs that he was selling, and he's single-minded in that task, but look, the place is packed full of people, but he didn't care. He was working on his business. I think this guy right here who's looking at me looks like one of my favorite guitar players, Tom Morello. Um... But he's not Tom Morello, I don't believe. But it was cool to see them shopping at this booth. And he gave me a nice smile. Here's a lady walking through the market. I, 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 I'm not really sure if I turned the camera vertical for this shot or if I just cropped the sides off of it. But here's a lady walking through the market at 24 millimeters. And here's a couple walking through the market at 24 millimeters. I left because he was looking over in this direction. So I left some room to kind of see where he was looking on this side of the shot when I did my crop. Turned out pretty cool. And on this shot, the the I was I wanted this lady to be in focus and the face detect did not bag her. It was trying to focus on the back of his head. And so I used my second autofocus button and put the single point on her face and, and uh, focused. And it got her good and sharp and kind of framed by these other two people. Here's a couple of ladies doing some shopping for, I guess that's some artwork or something. And here's a cute doggy at the market. I had uh, messed up my settings. I don't know why I had turned my shutter speed up to one four thousandth, but I did for whatever reason. And the R6 combined with Topaz Denoise AI handled the high ISO, 8000 ISO pretty well. Cute dog. This gentleman works for the Chattanooga Times and Free Press. That's the local newspaper. And he was shooting with a Nikon D750. And I just walked over and started taking his picture. And next thing you know, he started taking my picture. And then in my left hand, I held my beer up above my head. And that's when he started laughing. And I thought this was the best of the shots I made of him. 35 millimeter shot. This was uh, kind of outside the market looking in. Uh, from behind a booth and I just love this shot of this couple walking by and this cool dude walking by with his awesome boots and his uh, red-headed youngster on this front harness just uh, just a lot of cool stuff going on in this shot I like it quite a bit and this was I made this shot in that same location of this cool looking dude you can see his hand where he's waving reflected in his sunglasses and the little girl is super cute and I think that is the last one. So that is the photos from the Chattanooga Market. All in all, it was a really fun day of photography. The, there was a pretty strong chance of rain or we probably would have gone to Cades Cove or the Smoky Mountains today on Father's Day. But instead we came here and this place ended up being an absolute street photography mecca. And check out this awesome MX-5 retractable hardtop the finest sports car ever made. And that's not because I sell them for a living, but because it's the truth. Get you one, you won't be sorry. Thanks for watching, have a great day. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Give us a thumbs up, bye-bye.